back with this deer. We're going to go ahead and uh, get some high paste on here. And uh, uh, first, we're going to go ahead and uh, insert the uh, ear liners for my ears. So, uh, we're going to get it set up for that and we'll get rolling on that. Alright, what I do is rough up these ear liners with my roughing tool here. I just take them, rough it up. Get inside those depressions there. Get right up in there. Scratches right up real good, nice and rough. Get in here. And get in here where the skin will be wrapped around that. And that's pretty rough. Then we get the inside. That does it for that. I blow them off and then wipe them down with some lacquer thinner, clean them up real good. And that'll that'll uh, reduce any uh, any drumming away from the ears. I don't have to staple them or anything like that. So just a little carding around the edges. And I use paper clips to hold my carding material on the edges around the ear. No staplers. So I'm going to go ahead, get the other ear done, the other cartilage roughed up, clean them up with some lacquer thinner, and uh, I'll show you what I do from there. When I get my ear liners cleaned real good and ready to uh, insert into my ears, I take a hair dryer and I Blow dry my ears a little bit, get them nice and dry. Not not too dry, but you know, dry to the touch. Because when I put them ear liners in with that glue, I want it to be on a dry surface, not a wet surface. So we're gonna hit these ears. I'll show you how to do that.
Alright. Now we're ready to get some glue on these ear liners and uh, get these ears mounted. Be right back. Okay. What I do is make a pocket in my ear. Okay, a little pocket. Take my ear liner. Now I'm going to put some glue on there. I use the uh, McKenzie high paste. I've been using it for about three years now and it works real good. Like I said, you prep your hides real good and uh, the forms and uh, the material you're going to be mounting that skin on, you prep it real good you ain't going to have many problems with it it's all about prep I don't use gobs of of a uh, high pace because I don't want no puddles in there. I just use a nice thin layer. Just use a nice thin layer of high pace. Okay. I'm gonna get it all up in there. Slipping. It's hard to hold on to. I don't want to drop it. Get that high pace all up in there. You don't need a whole lot. I already got it on the back side real good. Okay, now we're going to insert this here. I'm going to show you on this one. Once you get it in there, then you're going to want to start adjusting that skin. Get that skin where it needs to be. If you don't know how it's supposed to look, get some good uh, live reference. Now, sometimes things might not look like it's going to fit. Believe me, you move that skin and keep moving, adjusting it, and things just start falling into place. See this hair pattern here? That has to flow in. And this black edge, you want that to be in. You want this skin to not have any wrinkles in it. You want it to all to sit nice and flat. Just, uh, you know, you take a little time, a little pride, you got plenty of time to work with this. Make sure it's all nice and flat in there. Work out any bubbles that you feel. So I can feel some, I'm working them out now. Working these bubbles, I can feel bubbles. So all I'm doing is just working them out.
Oh. This ear here is just about where I want it. I want to get a brush, get a brush and uh, comb up some of them hair patterns there. The white patterns on the edges will comb inward and then comb out. Now we're going to go ahead, I'm going to do the other ear, and then it'll be ready to uh, put on the mannequin, start mounting. Be right back. Alright, now we're going to start laying high paste on the form. Trying to stay away from the uh, incision. same thing on the other side then we'll put the uh, rest of the high paste on be right back all right I got them all wheeled out for the uh, ear canal to go in now we're just gonna apply the rest of the high paste and uh, I stay away from the incision part for right now I want to get this high paste on there it'll it will make it easier to uh, actually that skin around also. I use a good amount. I put it all on the face, nose and everything around the shoulders, staying away from the incision part. Go right up to about right here and put that high pace on. But uh, actually, I'll just get the, all around the uh, neck 
right around uh, before the right up to the uh, brisket area and then I'll slide it on there once I get everything on there in position tucked sewed up skin all moved where I want it and then I'll go ahead and fold this back over and uh, high paste all the rest of the shoulder in the brisket area and then bring it back over and line it up staple it in the back so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this uh, the high paste glue in here and then I'll get back with you when we go to put the cape on. Alright, we prop the form upwards. So when we go to put it on, the weight of the cape with gravity will help us along bring it down to where we need it. So I'm going to get the cape and start putting it on. Sure you got it lined up. Probably where you get most of your clay or your high paste on your cake. Keep pulling it here and there. Eventually, it'll fall on there. Try to keep the brisket in line while you're doing it.
pull it right down. Alright, we're gonna do a few things and then uh, I'll get right back to you. Alright, we're gonna start uh, doing our clay work around the eye here, putting our lower and upper eyelid on. Pull that up there like that, place it right in there. Kind of squeeze, I squeeze it off at the back. Okay. And I just feather it out to the mannequin. Then I'll put a smaller piece right in the upper front corner right there. I'll put a piece right in there. Actually I forgot to do something real quick. Be right back. I always like to notch out this front corner right here. I like to make that a little deeper. Just like to make that deeper there. Just so I can, uh, when I go to put my pin in, I can tuck that that uh, front corner skin right in there deeper. Because you don't want to see that when you're looking at it head on. So, let's uh, that clay work up in there. Also, we're going to do the front corner. I put a, I don't know, put a whole lot right there, just a little piece like that. And then we place it right in that front corner. Just kind of spread it out. I'm going to kind of push that up in there. And then feather it out. That's what I do. Better it right out of there. I'm just mold it a little bit with my hand. All right, now for the upper eyelid. We're gonna make this kind of squinking because he's doing the flaming. Take and put a piece angling up and down. Now uh, so we'll give that a little. We want the we want 
that white show back there a little bit. Give it a couple of little squirts of water. Kind of smooth everything out. Put a just a tad a little more right there. And we're kind of making us kind of a closer eye. Now we're just going to do a little bit of a little bit of refining. I'm going to take this. Now, we're going to create our upper eyelid here.
That's pretty much how I'll do the other side right there. Like so. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do the other side and we'll get back with you. Okay. Went ahead and uh, done the other eye. Now we're going to uh, put the antlers on. I always do the bondo, fill the cavity, makes it a lot stronger. So it's already been pre fitted on here. It's going to fit right on there, right where we want it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and screw her in. take them antlers off. Alright, what I like to do is give them a little hand torque just in case. I want to make sure these are tight. There we go. The antlers are on there. You got about a two and a half finger. So that's kind of a Measurement, but I always measure from here to the nose these times to here here to here Before I uh, cake the deer get it off of there so Or you can just measure From from the burr skin to the corner of the eye you can do that too So we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna build the base My earbuds here. I'm gonna actually build it right up on the form itself and then pull the pull the uh, ear liner right up into it and fit it on there. Now I shouldn't have to force a rod or anything in there. I'm gonna, we'll, we'll, uh, get this going. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get my other clay. I use uh, potter's clay for that. And around the skull to build up all that voids and rebuild any of the muscle tissue all around the antler base and around the back of the head and the junction. Alright, I'm going to start filling in all this up in here. I just hit it with potter's clay. up under this burr you want to leave a little gap between here and the muscle so you can tuck that that uh, ear butt skin that goes around the burr right up in there it wants to be able to tuck you need to get it to be able to tuck right up in there so you want to fill it in but leave a little little uh, canal in there
want this to flow nice and even. Stuff's pretty easy to do uh, spread. Spreads real good. Check it out. Make sure both sides are equal amount, shaped the same. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead. side and then uh, I'll start building that ear butt. Be right back. We're gonna we're gonna do our ear butts now we're gonna sculpt it. So our ear butts are gonna be back. We're gonna have them back and angled to where rain can't get into them. So what I'm gonna do lay a base ring around it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and lay a base ring right up like so. Cut that off right there. We don't want it down too far. What happens when you working close to your eye work? You kind of smear it every now and then. that ball muscle right here. So be a ball muscle right there. I'm gonna try to incorporate that in there. Put it inside that hole. Go 
want to keep it off the neck because the ear body, your ear don't sit on the neck. So you want to kind of keep it off there. Just keep, I keep shaking it. Always oh, got a muscle that runs right up through here. You want to try to incorporate that in there. Look at some. If you want to look at some reference, right here is a ear butt. Okay, that's what I'm trying to incorporate right there. Okay, I'll go right like that. It's that muscle there, and this muscle is right here that I put in, and your ear canal go right inside here. So, what I need to do is build up in here some more. That muscle kind of comes out in there too. Attach that. And then once you get that ear on there mounted, you can go ahead and do some more shaping.
me. They're here, but now let's try to fit this up over it. We'll check her out here. Okay. Pull that ear butt out. Now this will fold right up in there. And you can start seeing once that skin is going to be up through there. That's going to be right like so. Pretty much see how that's going to slide right in there. I just have to do in there, good in there, and do some more refining to it. And move some skin around. That's going to lay perfect. It's going to lay good with them antlers down where the rain doesn't fall in. So we're going to go ahead and do the other side that way, and we'll get back to you after that. Alright, I uh, took some epoxy scope, natural. There's no color to it, and mixed it up with some uh, chocolate brown, water-based polyester paint, polytransfer paint, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this in half, split it in half, okay, and I'm going to roll that one half up. I'm going to lay it just underneath the antler burr, push it right up against there, follow it all the way around that antler burr, there you go, and I have to find my tools, put them down, then you don't know where you put them. I'll take uh, a molly tool and kind of push it up in there. Okay, and what this does, I go to tuck my skin up underneath that antler burr to so pinch it between the burr and the, uh, the epoxy skull. And that'll hold it. I've been doing this and I haven't had a problem with it coming out on me once yet, so if it works, keep using it, that's what I say. Yep, yeah, we'll do the same thing on the other burr. Get back with you after that. I'm gonna start putting some high face on that face. Working in 
tight quarters like this. Right. Gotta get that high piece in there. Gotta have high piece. some on this other ear butt. Alright. I'm going to start getting this on there. And then once I get it on there, I'll show you how I'm tucking all the eyes and everything. Alright. We're going to go ahead and get this eye tucked. Make sure we're we want to get everything right, okay? The tear duct I always start with first. I kind of line up that front corner, make sure my skin is where it needs to be. Okay. And I'm going to tuck in that front, tuck in that tear duct. I got clay right here, so I'm going to tuck that in a little bit at a time, you know, just kind of work it. Now you want to get that front corner, see how that's kind of going in there, and then I can squeeze that together with that clay. Now you can just keep tucking it slowly. But surely. There we go. Now, I got my front corner. Now, what I like to do is go ahead and tuck that front corner in. Tuck it in between that clay and that glass eye. Okay. Start tucking that in. Too much. I tucked there. So just keep tucking. Just keep tucking it. Clean. I'm going to 
brush go. There it is. There. I like to keep it clean too while I'm working. That way when it's drying it doesn't got all that crap all over it. Glue. Uh, and clay. This helps it keep it cleaner. Now you can kind of start Just kind of get that, get that eyelid crease in there. You want to tuck your eye. to get them eyelashes down. Let's get them down. Manipulate it. I spent some time on my eyes.
Yeah. And then I usually, I usually put a, just one peep in, right in the crease of that corner eye, one peep in on each side, on each eye. Alright, that's how I have to do it.